Um, so let me show you that that last video I did had a I'll put a, a link to the other video down below in the uh, doobly doo. But um, that other project I showed you a mess of tangled wires and all kinds of stuff with antennas, and I said, you know, what do you think this is going to be? Well, um, I started playing around with these night vision systems, and I realized they weren't too terribly expensive, and they weren't too terribly complicated. And I thought, you know, I think I could make a target camera. The problem was, that would just record the video. I couldn't actually watch it. And then I thought, you know what, they do this with drones and RC cameras. I can do this. I think I can make this work. I... I I know there's a company called Bullseye Target Systems or Bullseye Camera Systems or something like that. Um, and they have a system that comes in a ammo can that you can put it down range and it'll transmit. It creates a wireless hotspot that will transmit back to your uh, iPad or your uh, iPhone or your laptop. And it has a, they have an app that's dedicated to it and it'll monitor the, the target and it blinks and shows you where the last shot went and it will circle it, and then you can measure the point-to-point -point distance from one shot to another. That's really great. It's a really cool application, and it looks like a really well-built, well-thought-out product. But I think it's also $450 or something like that. I can't afford $450. So what I came up with was I took the all the components from my night vision camera system. I have an LCD screen, which I think was about... 20 bucks, something like that. Um, a camera, $12 from Amazon.com, and LCD screen, camera, oh, the batteries. Uh, let's see if I can find the batteries here. The batteries they look like that. And I kind of put it all together and I said, okay, yeah, I can get video to the LCD screen, but I need to be able to separate them by anywhere from 30 to 100 yards. How am I going to do that? All right, so the, I started looking at RC uh, model airplane and drone video systems, and I found that there is kind of a, a cheap option here. And what I came up with was, let's see if I'll, I'll go to the transmitter here first. The transmitter looks like this, and it is, is a bus cam I think is the name of the company but uh, just has a little antennas on and has power in and it has video audio out so or actually this is video audio is it in yeah video audio out because this goes to the LCD screen so this is the receiver and it plugs into no, I did it. This plugs into the uh, the uh, LCD screen, and now the next part of that was I have to get the camera down at the target, and I just dropped it on the floor. But this thing is so just rock solid; it works pretty well. So I used one of those uh, electronic project boxes. I drilled a hole in the front and hit a camera inside. So what I have here, this is just a little, it's a tiny little tripod. Nothing fancy. It's for uh, iPhones, but it fits this really well. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I got that little electronic project box. I drilled a hole in the top. I drilled a hole in the bottom. And I drilled a hole in the front. And the camera's inside here. The transmitter, it's a little box. It's actually, it looks like a circuit board. But it's really tiny. It fits inside here. It's about the size of maybe a, a little, like a big match box. It'd be about the size of it, what it is. And this screws, I threaded that in there and it screwed in. I threaded all the wires down through the bottom here and then all that connects to the battery. So, and then whenever you have this down range, you just kind of, let's see if I can do this. Pop that on and aim it up at your target and it transmits back to this guy, which is connected to one of these screens. And then you can sit at a bench, target shooting, and you can see your target in real time. You don't have to have a spotter. Um, it's, 
it's kind of freaky because it's almost like you're sitting down at the target but you're shooting from you know 50 yards away or something like that and these things have a pretty long range um if you're if you have straight line of sight they claim 300 300 feet or 300 yards i think it was 300 yards um and i got pretty close to that i had my my son sat in the uh, driveway looking at the screen while i walked down the street i made it about probably two and a half three blocks away so it was probably close to at least 150 yards maybe 200 yards so i was pretty happy with that um i really have no complaints and again if you want to you can take the dvr and plug that into the system as well and you can record your target shooting if you want um you get two of these you can have one on the scope cam and one on this and then you can start getting really fancy but at that point i think you be become a video producer and not so much of a target shooter because you're going to spend all your time editing video. <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought this was a really fun, cool project that didn't require a degree in uh, electronic engineering or physics or anything fancy. It's just basically a drill, some electrical tape. As you can see, I, I'm not big on aesthetics. I'm all about functionality. So but it works. You plug it in, it transmits video, and you can watch it. Um, you do need two batteries because you have to have one at the camera and you have to have one at the LCD screen for the transmitter and the uh, LCD screen. Um, something to keep in mind, this transmitter, it gets hot. I don't know what's going on there, but I imagine it has to do with it amplifying the signal to transmit it. But yeah, that thing gets screaming hot. So... Um, I'm not going to promise that this is going to last a long time because of how hot it gets, but I think all told I have, I think 12, 24, 20, there's 40, it might be $80 into this target camera system. So it's not an insignificant amount of money, but I'm not going to cry if the thing stops working. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, if you want, I can kind of show you how it works. Let's see if I can... See if I can figure out how to navigate all these pieces. All right, so here is... That's self-contained. Let me get the transmitter. It's over here. All right, so... I have... Oh! I had to go to a uh, website for remote control airplanes and drone hobbyists and piece together the uh, the power connectors so if I can get that in there that way I could get everything I needed to connect this and I, again I'll put the links in the doobly-doo under the video so if anyone wants to try doing this they'll at least have a, a hint of a direction on which way to go but Let's see, so this goes to the camera, and this side goes to the battery, I think this will work, and this goes to video. I don't think we have any sound, so it's really not an issue, but now the one thing, oh, I just realized what I forgot to do in this project. I haven't drilled a hole in the bottom yet to uh, for the battery, for the switch for the battery, so I'm going to have to crack this open to turn it on. <laughs> Let's see if this will turn on. Okay, so the transmitter is on. You can see it's on channel 38. Now I'm going to turn on the camera. And you should see a video. Hey, there it is. This gets really meta because I'm getting, I have a video moving around. Look, there's me looking at me looking at me. How confusing is that? But anyway, so I can set this thing up over here. And you can see the video that that other camera is taking of me in this screen. So I'm going to see if I can pop this all back together. There we go. All right, so there's solid lens. The battery is inside here.
still have a mess of wires, but this isn't so bad. I can just, this stuff I can just wrap it up in some Velcro or uh, you know, electrical tape or something. Who cares? All I'm really interested in is this bit. So, um, but I can get another one of those little tripods and mount this thing in there. I'm also, this one I'm going to use to put on my, uh, on my rifle scope. Sorry, I'm drawing blanks. But the other one, see if I just lost, it. oh, there we go. The other LCD screen that I have, it's currently on my rifle, but I'm going to replace it with this one. That one will become part of the, uh, the target camera system. And it has a little stand on it and a pedestal. I can set it on this and watch that. So I don't have to do a whole lot of fancy stuff here. It's, uh, it's pretty slick, easy to do, and it's a fun project. Um, the other upside to this is you can also use it as a security camera in a pinch. You can set it on a bookshelf. You can aim it outside. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. And it's also night vision. So when it gets dark outside, it'll still work. Um, if you can find a 12-volt power supply that will plug into it, you don't have to use batteries. You can just plug it in and mount it on the wall somewhere. The uh, the cameras, let's see if we have to find the little, where is it? The cameras actually come with a little mount on it that pinches it on the outside. They're screwed on. So you can mount this on the wall and you can tilt it and pan it and rotate it however you want it, aim it where you want it to go, which it does work. Um, it does. I have to take that off for this uh, these applications though because you don't need that or want that on there really. But um, anyway, that was all I had for today. I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Hey, I started editing the video for the um, target camera system that I put together and it occurred to me that I forgot to mention that I had to buy two specialty wires to make this thing work. Um, I found them at, I'm trying to remember the name of the website. I'll put the links in the doobly-doo uh, down below, of course. Um, but there was a specialty power wire for the receiver that looks like this. So one end is the uh, female end, and then the other end is this little tiny plastic clip here. And... These are nothing fancy, but um, I think this was like $5 or probably less than that. Um, the other one I can't really get to because you can see part of it. It's coming out of the bottom of this thing, but most of it's covered up in uh, electrical tape. But it was a uh, bundle of power, audio, video, uh, and ground from the uh, transmitter out to the battery and to the uh, DVR if you want to do that. Um, that one required a little bit of work to make it work because the transmitter is apparently uh, non-standard according to the company I bought the wiring harness from. And I had to use a sewing needle and you, there are these tiny little uh, connections and you just push them down with the needle and then you can slide them out and then rearrange them to make them work. Um, the way I did it, uh, it the, the trans, transmitter comes with a plug that plugs into there, and you can look at all the, the colors of the wires. So what I did is I took the new harness that I bought that combined it all and had the RCA jacks on it, um, and I, I modeled the one that came with the transmitter and moved the wires on the uh, harness that I bought so that it matched that. Um, I have a, an email that I received from the, the company I bought it from that explains also how to do it, but their instructions were actually a little bit off, so I had to go off on my own a little bit. And the, the wires are so tiny that I, I, I could show it to you on video, but it really wouldn't mean much. So um, I think it'll be obvious if you buy them and you put them side by side, you'll see that this one goes you know, red, white, black, red or something like that and this one goes red white red black or something i can't remember what the order was but you'll see that they're different so make one match the other so the one that came with the transmitter um and i think that's it all right so i thought i should probably show everyone how the target cam system works and what the video looks like whenever you're using it 
there's a problem with that though. It's raining outside today. So um, I have a kind of a hokey solution. I'm going to use instead of an air gun or a ray or gun, I'm going to use my bow. So I will try to uh, get that strung and I'm going to set up a target in the back of my porch and set the camera up aimed at the target so that um, you can see what it looks like and I will attach the DVR so that I can record it and, you, and then you can see what it looks like. Thanks. Turn this off.